March Madness, one of my favorite times of the year, is finally upon us, and that means bracket bets. An estimated 70 million Americans will wager $9.2 billion this year. And while you're worried about winning your office pool, for example, the IRS is focused on collecting your money. Joining us to discuss is WSJ's tax reporter, Laura Saunders. Laura, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about a little rule that most Americans probably aren't aware of. <laughs> All gambling is taxable, even if the game itself isn't legal. That's exactly right. How does uh, that work? Well, it's, it's income, and income is taxable. Now, what people also don't know is that your losses can be deductible. Okay, so it's not all terrible news. It's not all terrible news. Um, let's talk about winning. Let's say you pitch in a couple bucks to a family pool, an office mm -hmm. pool, and you uh, win a few, maybe hundred if you're lucky, thousand dollars. How do you report it? Oh, th there's a a line right on the tax return, on the front of the tax return, you, I think it's line 21, other income, and that includes gambling income. Uh, in the most y recent year that we have available, people reported $30 billion of ga gambling winnings. In, in one full year? Yes. Okay. So if you lose a lot of money, let's say uh, you spent a little too much in Vegas, how do you write off your losses? Well, you can. Uh, there's a little bit of heads I win, tails you lose here, um, because you can only uh, deduct your losses up to the amount of your winnings. Okay. But if you get lucky, you should have kept all those tickets and things for your losses, because you need lots of records to substantiate your losses. You have to prove that you lost a certain. You have to prove it, and the IRS sometimes looks very hard at it. And <laughs> witnesses. I mean, how else would you go about? Well, uh, what the IRS wants to take a little bit of the fun out of gambling because they want you to keep a log or a diary okay. of all the, you know, wh who you were with, what day it was, what time it was, how much you wagered, how much you won or lost. All right. So if you're drinking and maybe that's not so easy to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beware yeah. of everyone in Vegas. Yeah, exactly. Write down your log. <laughs> now, so what are some of the, um, I don't want to say loopholes, but what are some of the catches? Um, well, uh, you can, now, if you're a casual gambler, like mm -hmm. a recreational gambler, you can't deduct other expenses, but there is a category for professional gamblers. Gambling can be a trade or business, wow. and then you can deduct your coaches, your entertainment, your travel, all that sort of thing. Uh, it does happen that people are professional gamblers, full or part-time, and it does happen that they win audits, because we have an example of one in the story. Did you fill out a bracket this year? Well, maybe. <laughs> I filled out a tax. bracket. It's completely busted. <laughs> tax brackets or basketball brackets. There are two kinds of brackets in March. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Luckily, I just bet dinner, so I'll have to cook someone dinner, but that's about it. Laura, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for having me.